Second favorite thing is cooking in the backyard. I know about Love that. It. He loves to cook outside. So guess what? We're going to talk about food a little bit. We already introduced you to the secret weapon in the backyard, grilling, you know, the big green egg. Well, we stopped back there to check it out. Easy recipes you want to try. I am excited about this one. We're at Lighthouse Pools and Spas. I'm with Ben, and it says Big Green Egg on your shirt. And you, you're supposed to, you know about everything about a Big Green Egg, I right? I try to. I try to. I've been wanting to know about this for so long because everyone says once you have the food made in the Big Green Egg, that's it. That's the only way you can cook outside. It's the number one most agile grill on the market today. What do you mean agile? Agile meaning that it's a griller, smoker, roaster. It's a wood-fired pizza oven anything you want it to be. We'll okay, for you. so we're looking at different sizes here. We got this this, this one right here. This, this, little, this, this little guy's the mini. Is this the mini egg, huh? It is, it is. How big the chicken this comes from? You know, uh, you can you can do a small Cornish game hen on it. It's <laughs> it's my tailgater, it's my camping grill. Yeah. Uh, I take it a lot down to OSU games, especially myself. Uh, Good man. Quick, quick on, quick off. Hey, so I have a question. Rods, burgers, you dogs. say quick on, quick off. How yeah. do you like this so it's so quick because it's not gas? You know, the uh, charcoal is going to go down in here. We use a lump-based charcoal, which is a kiln burn hardwood. Uh -huh. We put it right down inside there where this cast iron grate is. Fill it up to about, uh, I'd say, two inches above these holes. Light it with a fire starter. You're good to go. How long does it take to get that thing hot? You know, it's, it, most average sizes, it's about seven to ten minutes. Tops. Seven to ten, I mean, like, I have a gas grill at home. I turn it on 10, 15 minutes before I put my steaks in right. it. So it's about the same time. Yeah, we're not talking a huge difference here. Okay, so we got some, some food out here. We're going to cook some. Give them a little demonstration. What are you going to make here? These are my pork roll-ups. Uh -huh. uh, it's kind of a basis of, uh, of a roulade. And what we're going to do is we're going to cover our pork here, watch yeah. the wind. I'm going to let you pound it. Okay, out. which How's side that? should we use, you think? Uh, I'd use the flat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there you go. How, how flat? How big you want this? We don't have to go terribly flat. Just pound it so it's uh, halfway decent. There. It sounds like I'm at the bleachers at the Indians game. What's that guy's <laughs> name? John Adams, baby. Eat your heart out. How are we doing with this? Doing excellent. Doing excellent. I think that's good. Okay. Good okay. Day. That's fun. I don't have to do a cooking segment this week now. No, it's pretty easy. You wore me easy. out. Okay. Now what? <laughs> well, I'm going to use some of their rub. I know Big Green Egg has. I use. I like the Viva Caliente. Uh, this is actually made for Big Green Egg by Dizzy Pig. We've got a number of different uh, Dizzy flavors. Dizzy Pig, you got to love that Pig. name, right? These guys are great. So we're just going to sprinkle a little bit on there. Something about Dizzy Pig sounds good for outdoors. I like a lot of it. Like yeah. A little bit. We'll put some of these. These are actually chopped up serrano peppers. I like serranos. You can use jalapenos, habaneros. These aren't quite as hot and they have a little more of a green yeah, flavor, I exactly. think. Exactly. Yeah. They've got a little bit more of a smoky flavor to them. Could you put and, bacon uh, on this too? We're going to put bacon on this. This is, uh, it's got to be the got to be the bacon. So we're also going to put some shredded cheddar That's inside here. You can use your own type of cheese. I prefer the uh, sharp. Okay, when we put this when we put this in the big green egg after you wrap it all up, how long is it going to take to cook it? You know, these guys, this size, and I usually get the thin pork loins. They seem to hammer out best for me. Mm -hmm. It's usually going to be about 45 minutes at 400 degrees. Okay, how do you put the bacon on that now? Well, we're going to roll this it up first. Throw it at it and hope it sticks. You know, like you said, the mini is good for a camping trip. Yeah. And then the XL, how big a group you have to cook for? Or, I mean, if you want the XL, who should have the XL? You know, I, I typically sell that to a lot of caterers, a lot of chefs. Uh huh. But you know, if you got the lacrosse team at, at home yeah. every other weekend, it's not a bad so size. So if, you, if to you're work cooking with. for six people all the time, maybe you want the XL, huh? Right. Right. Okay. So we pick that baby up and put it in here. Yeah. Grab my tongs. Are we going to reveal some cooked ones when we open it? I think so. Here's the applause. You ready? Here it comes. The big reveal. So look at that. So I look at these now. They are beautifully caramelized. Mm -hmm. Last 15 minutes, I put on some uh, Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Chipotle barbecue sauce. Yeah. That's my own little. You do these there. demonstrations it's one of my a favorites lot. For them. I do. Yeah, this is kind of my go-to. And when you cook at home, people love it. I, they, they do. Hey, what's? Tell me real quick. We're about out of time here. What's that stone in there? Is that? It looks like a pizza stone called, in a way. It's called. It's called the convector. It used to be known as the plate setter. It is the indirect piece allowing me to uh, to, mm -hmm. to kind of convection cook, if you will, smoke, roast, that sort of thing. So we talk about making pizzas in here sometimes too. So you, you get this temperature up to what? You know, it, uh, most pizzas are going to be about 550 to 650, just depending on if it's thick or thin crust. Okay, and then could I actually cook it on that convection thing there? Flip it over. You can do pizzas right on top of so that. So it stays clean on the other side. Correct. And 15, uh, you said 7 to 10 minutes to light that up and get heated in here. Same for this? Same for this. Yeah. Uh, same for all five sizes. Five. One big green egg, five sizes. There you go. Terrific. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks, Dan. Lighthouse, pools, and spas. Digging it. I love the green egg.
Okay, a lot of good news here. We've got some more grilling secrets coming up all month long. And next time I get my hands on a grill for another great recipe. And guess what? I bought one of those big green eggs, uh -oh. baby. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. He's and excited, so, too. Yeah, <laughs> so we're going to make something on that. I think we're going to go out. We're going to drag Herb or one of the guys out there. We're going to shoot it, and we'll, we'll make something on there and show you how it works. And I think that that's all good. cool. We'll, we'll right have bacon. That. Whatever you make, it'll be Ooh, bacon, I'm sure. I'm excited. Okay. I'm really excited about that. Hey, guess what? I'm excited to give you this.